Hi, this time I wanted to talk about something that could be potentially tricky, perhaps even dishonest. Maybe there are some other reasons for it, but I will try to explain what I perceive of this particular phenomenon. And this is when someone divides roleplay in tiers or levels of, like formal levels of expertise or advancement. Like you have the mm, beginner roleplay level, the mid roleplay level, the advanced roleplay. And this sounds so nonsensical to me because you either roleplay or you don't. That's it. I actually made fun of this in a community post a long time ago, well, like a month or two, that I said something like, beginner roleplay level. You kind of describe what your character is doing. Mid-level roleplay. You describe what your character is doing. Advanced level of roleplay. You telepathically communicate what your character is doing. God level of roleplay. Everyone at the table already knows what your character is doing. So yes, it's a bit, a bit silly, a bit ridiculous because roleplay is only about describing what your character is doing. That's it. I have noticed a subtle difference when Shunner mentions roleplay. He says that you should mention where your character is at and what your character is doing. I consider this unnecessary. Maybe Shunner mentions it like that, so that those that have taken the mantle of the game master or referee, like this is their first time or, or whatever, they have an easier time visualizing things. But take a look at my actual play. C4 Crispy and Full Metal, full metal State, they are always just describing their actions. They are never like, I am standing at the doorway. I enter the room, or I am in the room next to the altar, I move outside of the room, so I find it a bit pointless, but maybe, like I said, maybe Shunner is saying that so that those that are just starting to run games, they have an easier time visualizing things, but I, as from my personal take, I would say just describe what your character is doing, because if you are opening the door, unless you are telling me something like I am blowing up the door using explosives and I'm behind the wall over here or something or I am using my cannon to blast open the door if you communicate that you are opening the door without any other details I assume that you are next to the door and you are turning the door knob to open it or you're pushing the door depending so I think the position the exact position of your character in a, using the mind side that is without miniatures or grid I consider it unnecessary because the very action that you are taking kind of like gives you the information that you need concerning the position or the positioning. Shonner, if you're watching this and you have like a, I don't know, maybe you're creating like a video, maybe uh, give some more details about the character's position as to why you, you say that it's important to describe where your character is at. Because when they say that they are entering this room or something like I, I am sitting on the chair, I assume that they are on the chair or whatever. So they are only describing their actions. I think that's enough, in my opinion. Maybe there's something I am missing. Now, when it comes to, again, to the levels of roleplay, which is quite silly and potentially dishonest, I think there are two main reasons as to why people do this. No, three. First reason, they don't know what roleplay is, is all about. They don't know anything about roleplaying. So for them, they divide it into levels or tiers in trying to figure things out on their own. It is so simple. You either roleplay or you don't. You describe your character's actions. That's it. Now, here is the potentially dishonest part. What if there are content creators that want to piecemeal their content? So they bring this video that is, this is beginner roleplay level. And this next video, if you want to be a real role player, take a look at my other video that covers intermediate level of roleplay. And you watch the intermediate level of roleplay. If you want to know more, you need to watch the advanced level of roleplay. And you, so they kind of piecemeal the roleplay to extend their content, perhaps. What other reason? Uh, this, this other reason is a bit more dishonest. Well, I guess it's the same level of dishonesty. If that were the case, maybe it's something else. There, perhaps there are posers that want to present themselves as role players. So every time they mess, they mess up. Every time they play in a very, very mediocre way, 
they actually have to hide their mediocrity behind levels of roleplay. Oh, I was asking out of character questions because in this session we are handling beginner level of roleplay. Oh, yes, well, I kind of stepped out of character and I was asking questions to the game master because in this particular instance or sub subsection of the campaign or scenario, we are handling intermediate level of roleplay. No, if you want to stay in character all the time, that's advanced level of roleplay. So I think it's to cover their own asses. So those are the three reasons, in my opinion. The, the person either doesn't understand, understand roleplay or you want to piecemeal, the content, content creator is piecemealing the content by dividing it into tiers or levels of roleplay or you have a mediocre game master or player and the group and in order to hide their mediocrity they divide it in levels of roleplay to hide their mistakes either way they are shattering the immersion, the party, the rather the session is ruined so those are my thoughts if you are just starting to play tabletop role-playing games, don't get tricked into thinking that there are levels of role-play. You either role-play or you don't. You describe your character's actions. You stay within character. You are not asking questions to the game master, dungeon master, etc. because the game master, the dungeon master, the referee does not exist in the game world. It doesn't exist. If you have problems figuring out how to obtain information through roleplay, please check out the videos in the description how to obtain details through roleplay, the difference between roleplaying and acting, and watch my actual play. Well, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character or not, than not to roleplay than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you and see you later.